I'm at Dickie's Barbecue off of Barrett Parkway in Kennesaw, Georgia. Today, I'm gonna check out the brisket double cheese sandwich. All right, we've got our food. And before we head back to the studios, we're gonna subject this to the Joe temperature test. And this thing rings in at 103.5 degrees Fahrenheit. I would have expected it to be a little bit warmer. Now that we've got our food, let's head back to the studios of Joe is Hungry, located in my adopted hometown of Fairmount, Georgia. Today, we're reviewing the brisket double cheese sandwich from Dickie's Barbecue. This sandwich is made up of chopped brisket, American cheese, macaroni and cheese, all on a toasted brioche bun. This sandwich will set you back $7 before taxes in Georgia. $7 seems a little bit high, but then real barbecue and brisket is not cheap, and it's not cheap to make. We know what's in it, and we know how much it is. Now it's time for the Joe weight test. Let's plop this thing on the scales. And this thing weighs in at an even 10 ounces. Now in the interest of science and consistency, I bought two of these so I could see how consistent they were from sandwich to sandwich as they're made. And the second one weighs in at 10 ounces exactly. They passed the consistency test. They both weigh exactly the same thing. How they get them that close, I don't know. But kudos goes out to the one who made my sandwiches and you know who you are. Now it's time for the big reveal. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. We've seen how much it was, we've seen how much it weighs. We've actually taken a pretty good look at it. That being said, it's time for the Joe Bite Test. Joe Bite Test, engage. Definitely a mouthful of meat. There's plenty of barbecue in it. One sandwich would probably fill me up. Nah, not really, two. Now for my assessment. This is a brisket sandwich. I'm having a little trouble telling it is a brisket sandwich. The beef brisket is chopped beef brisket, not the thick slices one would expect when they order smoked beef brisket. This takes away from the texture of the brisket and also lets the macaroni and cheese overwhelm the flavor of the meat. I'm not really sure macaroni and cheese really has a place in the sandwich. I would get it as a side. As a matter of fact, when they made my sandwich, they left the macaroni and cheese out and gave it to me as a side, and they had to go back and reassemble it so it would match the special that they were running. When I bite into it, I'm only tasting macaroni and cheese. But after a minute or two, the aftertaste of the brisket tends to come through. Also, this thing is supposed to come on a brioche bun. <clears throat> this doesn't look like a brioche bun to me. It looks more like a sesame seed bun. A brioche bun is sweeter and tolerates moisture better than the sesame seed bun that this came on. Didn't really take away from it. I'm not a big fan of brioche buns, so I'm not really disappointed. But that is not a brioche bun. If you don't know my score, my score is one to 10, nine being the best. Anything above nine is a once in a lifetime experience. Almost nobody ever makes it above nine. Eight to nine is traveling food. And what I mean by traveling food, am I gonna take my wife 30, 35 miles all the way down to Kennesaw to pick up one of these for an evening at dinner? Seven to eight is decent food, but I wouldn't drive 30 miles to get it. 
but I would probably stop there before I would stop anywhere else. Six to seven is above average. Five to six is middle of the road. And five and down is a slippery slope to food hell. That being said, does it rise to the level of a nine? No. Only three times in the history of my reviews have I gone above nine, and one of those is Massey's Pizza. Would I drive 35 miles down there, take my wife out to dinner? Probably not. Without the macaroni and cheese, I think it would be breaking over seven. But we're gonna give this a 6.8. And maybe if they didn't chop the brisket up, I could have gone a bit higher. So that's my review. If you found this interesting, if you found this useful, subscribe to the channel, support the channel, and we will see you in the next video. <laughs>